Welcome to the Power Talk Show with me, Dominic. It's another the Wednesday. Last week, unfortunately, we could not have a live show because of the terror attack. And I want to first of all send my thoughts and prayers to all those who lost brothers and sisters, family and friends, and co-workers. And I want to ask that God may strengthen you and console you. I know there are no words that I might tell you that might improve the situation, might improve the way you feel. But either way, I pray that you find the strength to move on. And we also pray that those who are killed in this terror attack might find justice here or other in the world to come. And to also those who lost business and property, we also say Poleni Sana. At the same time, we want to appreciate our special forces who did an amazing job to contain the situation with a well-coordinated response. And we also ask the good Lord, good Lord to, to bless you and keep you. So either way, we are back here now on the, on the Power Talk Show. Today we are talking about money. Uh, minding your money and to get with me i have anthony Medega, who is the current chief investment officer at uh, commercial bank of africa so we'll be watching about we'll be talking about what are some of the bad habits we've got when we come when it comes to our money and what are the strategies that we can use to maximize the money that we have the finance that we have so that we can we can do it better okay so and with me back is the at Africa Band. After Africa Band, they have been on holiday. Kidogo, like you know, Merudi, no apota yadi kututumbuiza kwa nyimbo mbili tatu siku ya leo tukiwa na the Power Talk Show kwa hivyo usien. Mbali tunarudi baada ya muda mfupi, baada the Power Talk, baada the at Africa Kenya kutumbuiza na wimbo moja. So, at Africa, let's go. Ipepesa. Watoto wananda. Kwa sababu mkiwa. Anapenda kutanga tanga Na hata majirani Wamechoka kukuona Wahusema funge ni minangu Anakuja Waini mwake Bwana ni pepesa Watoto wananda Kwa sababu mke wako Anapenda kutanga tanga Na hata majirani Wamechoka kumuona Nairobi Wamechoka kumuona Akinye ya nyumba zao Natanga kalisa Tafadhali buwana Rudy Come back and mind your money Come back and mind your money Sababu tunanja Tafadhali buwana Rudy Come back and mind your money Come back and mind your money Wende umuze wa nyumba Na bana ni pepesa Watoto wananja Kwa sababu muke wako Anapena kutanga tanga Na hata majirani Wametanga kumuona Wawusema funge ni mbana So we are saying Wewe kuja and mind your money Today's topic that is South Africa, Kenya, Masanga. Masanga, what, what, what was that? <laughs> Come and mind your money, eh? Yeah. Awesome. So, guys, welcome again to the Power Talk Show. As I mentioned to you, my, my guest today is Anthony Mwedega, who is the Chief Investment Officer at Commercial Bank of Africa. And be part of this conversation by sending your opinion, your suggestions and questions. You can go to uh, Y254, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. I can, you can see down at, at, your, at, the, at the screen there. Y254, that you can see the social media handles that you can go to and talk to us. So again, we're talking about minding your money, and we want to talk about uh, about that with the Chief Investment Officer, Commercial Bank of Africa. Karibu to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me, too. Now, uh, I've just spoken about the do seat attack and all that. Uh, what, are your, what, what are your thoughts about it? You want to say a word? Yes, um, and thank you, Dominic. And um, I also t wish to do the same like you, um, mm. condole the families, friends, colleagues who got affected by the attack and um, those who got injuries and got those got those who passed away, mm -hmm. we ask our good Lord to keep their souls in eternal peace Absolutely. and also help those who are affected business-wise mm -hmm. to recover as soon as possible. It's a terrible, right? It's just terrible, 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 terrible incident, yeah. You had you had some friends there yourself, or yes, I have some business partners mm -hmm. who I know, mm -hmm. companies I associate with, and friends 
who are affected both by injuries and a few unfortunate who left us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, quite yeah. sad. Yeah. But on the side, we it was a quite a, we well responded to by by our security guys, isn't it? I exactly. Think they did a terrific job that was recognized globally. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So anyway, Karibu Sana. Asante. You have, you know, I was just having a conversation with you before we started the show. You have worked for quite a number of banks. Um, actually, yes. yes. Um, although I don't consider myself as a banker, uh -huh. um, I might consider myself as a, an investment professional. Uh -huh. So if you like, I'm an investment banker. I've worked for, for a number of financial institutions, uh -huh. five in total, uh, three banks and two insurance groups. So yeah, I've been in the finance field for the last 18 years. 18 years. Yeah. Wow, that's a. Uh, I hope you're born by then. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. I'm. I'm. I'm that old. <laughs> so now, why? What? Is, what? What particularly does it mean to be an investment banker? Yeah. Um. This is an extension of banking, but mm -hmm. mainly it means, um, the profession which assists individuals and institutions to do more with their money than keeping them in an in a bank account. Mm -hmm. That means investing it for an extra income, whether through various investment opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, public and private, and 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 uh, local and international. So the bank. So you, as a bank, you look for op opportunities for investment. Do you inform um, then first the the banker that we want to put your money here, or you? Yes, okay. uh, mainly. Uh, in this environment, we identify the opportunities mm -hmm. for customers. Mm -hmm. We make those customers aware of those opportunities and we guide them to select those opportunities awesome. depending on the amount of money they have. Mm -hmm. And secondly, their return expectation objectives and also the ability to to stomach risk because a return also comes with a risk. Come, uh, so yeah, we help yeah. them to achieve their balance. To understand wh wh what it's going to take. Yes. That's, okay. So now let's 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 talk about money now. Yeah. Why is money essential? Why would you say really that money is important? There, there are some cliches that say, well, you don't need money to be happy and all that. Yeah. 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 You, need, you need money for some sort of comfort, you know? Exactly. So wh wh what, what's your take on this? Yeah. I mean, uh, definitely money cannot be a source of happiness but money is essential to humankind because it enables us as human beings to acquire means of survival makes us move from one point to the rest mm -hmm. to the next makes us uh, acquire basic livelihood items mm -hmm. uh, like for example the basic uh, food shelter and 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 uh, and and, and education, health and yeah. education and health mm -hmm. and again the entire humankind mm -hmm. is meant to work and the only number one compensation of 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 an honest job mm. is 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 money is money well so, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. for sure now uh, you know most of our viewers are young people exactly. you know oh. and young people has, uh, have some maybe some bad habits that you might have noticed and maybe you you could you might want to assist them to be aware of certain Bad habits, let, let's call them that way. Exactly. That, that, that they may do that might actually make their financial status just worse. Yeah. Um, yes. Young people all over the world, mm -hmm. Kenya included, mm -hmm. have, have those habits. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, some of us as parents, we might have taught them those bad habits or pass it to them. <laughs> but the basic ones are the, 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 the one which is the simplest. Um, regardless of whether they're earning or they're not earning, Mm, there's a tendency to live beyond our means. Okay. Most young people, and even adults, mm -hmm. um, as human beings, they tend to live beyond their means. That means they plan or actually spend more than they're able to generate as income from whatever they do, either as a salary or even as tippet from a parent. Mm -hmm. Secondly, um, which is also again a human nature, most young people, even the most educated financially don't believe in a budget. They don't budget. They believe the budget is in their head, in their head and they spend according to the prioritization. Mm -hmm. They don't just sit down and write, this is my income mm -hmm. and this is how I'm to spend it. Mm -hmm. So if they budget with the flow. Exactly. I mean, they, 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 they use the money with the flow. Exactly. Okay. They, 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 there's a slightly spendthrift mm. habit which f fades away mm. when heavier family responsibilities mm. kick in, mm. when, they, when they mature and grow up. So mm. Thirdly, uh, young people and even adults mm. 
they don't save. The saving patterns and global patterns of savings are very low. In Kenya, they are almost the lowest. People from the far Asian countries are better savers than big on saving. Than, than Europeans and Africans. So Africa, I mean, uh, so our young people, the youth, saving is a is a is, is, a, is, a, is a is a big problem. And then fourthly, there is a tendency to 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 enter into unnecessary debts, very unnecessary. Even borrowing a thousand shillings from you, mm, it's something that, it's uh, and with with, with all these, uh, mm. uh, with all these, uh, what do you call them? This Tala and uh, this. Uh, or this uh, mobile lending. Yeah, company. mobile lending. You yeah. know, I, interestingly, what you just say is connected to the very fast uh, that they are living beyond their means. Yes. And therefore, they are s they 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 are taking debts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the debts they are taking, uh, they are for for going out. Yeah. You know. Exactly. It's, it's not like you're taking actually for an investment. You are taking to go putting, exactly. all right, or maybe for <laughs> to, to exactly, yeah. exactly. Especially the uh, the best definition of unnecessary debt is what you've said, mm -hmm. where you borrow money which you need to pay, mm -hmm. but for a, a, a luxury activity like going out, um, because borrowing should be made for something which leads to a purchase of an item which 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 you are, you are able to use, get mm -hmm. benefit, mm -hmm. and pay. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a tendency for young people to 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 have unnecessary debts, and and the the, f the digital financial technology has mm -hmm. made them uh, have access to to some of those unnecessary debts, which can lead to now to other psychological issues like depression, because now exactly. you have so much debt, you can tell your parents that you have taken, yeah. you have yeah. twenty thirty thousand that exactly. you have taken yeah. to go out, and yeah. now you need to pay it back, and you cannot. So exactly, yeah. it can, exactly, it, yeah. it's it's quite a tricky. So yeah. Uh, so what what I've gotten from you is they they use the money more than they are actually making yes, and over borrowing. Yes. Okay. So now on the other hand, what can they do therefore, right? What can they do therefore? What are the few things that you can say to young to a young person to start making money, to start saving money, to start uh, maximizing the financial status that they have? Yes. Um, now knowing the basic problems or bad habits, mm. the best solution is to reverse those habits. Um, and um, the first one is to don't overspend. Exactly to avoid to avoid living beyond your means. It's very important. Even if you don't have to write it in a piece of paper mm -hmm. or a notebook or, or on your iPad or on your laptop or phone, it's advisable for a young person as an early, st very early stage, even a teenage, before even they become um, older youth and the young adults, to just learn to have a basic budget. Even if that budget is in your head, you know that I normally get 10,000 shillings on my hands mm -hmm. every month or 5,000 shillings. And I need to make sure whatever I'm doing is within that amount. That, that budget. That is the, that's a budget. Don't complicate it. Mm -hmm. Don't don't try to do a budget mm. like the one drawn by a finance expert. <laughs> yes. So budget and then account, I would guess, no? exactly. well, once you've used. Exactly. So, 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 so once you have a budget, mm -hmm. that's the first step. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, once you have a budget, you, 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 there's a chance you might have a, what you call a deficit or a surplus. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to have a surplus. It's, it's not an easy thing. Even governments don't have surpluses. Not, not, not Kenya at least. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and many, many African and European governments, mm. it's rare. But once you have, well, the next stage is to make sure that you, you have a surplus. And if a good chance you have a surplus by living within your means, then you start to save. Because the surplus becomes your saving. Now, that's your second strategy of, of, of minding your money. Mm. You have a budget, you, then the budget is a, has a deficit, you work harder month after month, it turns to have a surplus. surplus. Mm -hmm. Now, that surplus is our you stage save. two, you start saving. Mm -hmm. Now, there are many ways to save, very many ways, including the... the the, the the traditional of one of, of of under the mattress under the pillow okay. under the pillow but yeah. our young people are very fortunate that in the modern world mm -hmm. there are many ways of saving even using their own phone you know the phone which is able to borrow money mm -hmm. can, can also, also can also help you to save mm. and any other many financial products are available for saving including giving a very credible friend or borrower your money to return with a, with an interest that's also saving but a very credible borrower mm. <laughs> not because anybody that, those, are, those are few <laughs> exactly those, those are, are few. very few mm. then after you learn how to save you need to move to a third stage you need to start investing because the difference between saving and investing saving the money is safe 
the interest is small or the return is small, but number the priority is safety. But when you have extra amount of money, now you've saved for a while, you need a higher income, a higher interest, a higher return. Now you need to start embracing investing. Now investing comes with risk and return. The return can be high, but also you can lose money. And as a young person or as a youth, there's a tendency to be extremely risk seeker. Just the way our young people, when they become drivers, they drive faster than their dads mm -hmm. or their moms. Mm -hmm. So there's a tendency to seek risk. To take risk, yeah. yeah. Mm. So one of the things they need to understand at that level, they need, at their age, they need to understand the, what we call their risk tolerance. And by risk tolerance, I mean, what is the adversity for them losing the money they have? Imagine you've saved a thousand shillings per month or five thousand shillings per month, then end of the year it is sixty thousand. Yeah. Then you lose all of it. Now, do you, will you be okay with losing that money? That money. Yeah. Now that will start measuring your risk tolerance, tolerance and yeah. to inform mm -hmm. what you can do with the sixty thousand or with the hundred thousand or with the twelve thousand. Now, once the young person or or the youth is able to measure his or her risk, risk tolerance, tolerance mm. they'll know what to invest in. Because in, they'll know this return is high, but what if I lose my own money? This return is low, but it's too low for me. This mm. return in the middle is not very high, it's not very low, but it will still guarantee me having my money back plus profit mm -hmm. or plus interest. And it will be able to evaluate mm. opportunities of temptations. Can we do business together? Can we do this venture? Can we get into this activity? The risk tolerance is the one which we want it's to make going them to guide you to uh, become an investor. Yeah. Now, yeah. let's say uh, I'm saving a thousand shillings a, a, month. a month, right? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, I have ten, twelve thousand shillings. Yes. Now, what? Which are the opportunities that I have with ten thousand, twelve thousand shillings yeah. to invest my money if I am not yet capable of being an entrepreneur? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, and I want to tell the youth, a thousand shillings per month saving is a lot of money. It might have taken your parents 10 years, even before starting that, saving that 1,000 shillings. So anybody willing to save 1,000 shillings per month or is already doing that, congratulations. It is an, 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 a, a good amount. Mm -hmm. The more, the better. Now, there are many things you can do, but because the amount of money is not a lot, it's 1,000 a, a per month, 12,000 per year, you need, again, to accept the opportunities which can accept that money as an investment. So number one, you there are so many um, saving products out there. Now that will not sound like investing because the rate or the return will be so low. Now, one of the ways of investing little money is to get into a small business which you know very well, and not because someone else is doing it, but it has a relationship with your passion. Every youth, every young person has a passion of something. The band we had over here has the band members are passionate about 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 music, about music. And singing, yeah. so uh, when that band member uses his, his or her twelve thousand shillings to buy a guitar, I don't know if there's a guitar for twelve thousand shillings or a music instrument for twelve thousand shillings, mm -hmm. that is an informed decision Inve investment investment decision mm. so there are other financial products which 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 can be done but for me to call you an investor i need to see you taking a higher calculated risk but if you are a saver you can save the money through your phone in many banking saving products saving savings accounts circles, uh, circles. Mm -hmm. there are some instruments called unit trusts which have a specific product called a money market fund, which even accept 500 shillings per month. So that's why I'm saying 1,000 per month is a lot of money. You said unit trust. Unit oh. trust. Mm -hmm. Unit trust are common in Kenya. They admit everyone, provided you have an ID. Uh, so if a youth is above 18, has an ID, can 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 open an account and can start saving. Mm -hmm. they, they are slow minimum amount of 500 and as high as 10,000. So you choose the one which is comfortable, uh, for, you. comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. But still, um, they should not shy away from 
an entrepreneurial activity mm-hmm. i mean um one of the most best stories of one of our best kenyans out there they used to make 3000 chapatis per day for sale 3000 yeah so you can make a hundred. so i don't know how many chapatis can be made with with, with, with 12000 shillings but i'm <laughs> sure those are very many packets of yeah, of, of, yeah. of unga wangano yeah, so 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 yeah. or wheat flour so but in terms of entrepreneurship of business i really advise the youth to do an entrepreneurial activity which has a relationship with their passion because mm-hmm. it's the passion which keeps keeps you overcome the ups and downs absolutely yeah absolutely. otherwise if it's copying a friend mm-hmm. you can't take the the ups and downs or the pitfalls mm-hmm. before you enjoy the 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 true profit absolutely yeah. thank you now i i before before we take a break huh? uh there is something you mentioned about the guitar you know and yes. i and i felt probably what you're saying here is the best investment you can make first of all is on yourself like yeah. probably take the first money you have saved and see how you can maximize your competence within the market economy or something is that yes it's actually you're very right mm-hmm. uh you're very right and um i i i talk to many young people about this um even teenagers and i normally tell them the best asset you have is yourself <laughs> true yourself without you there's no business exactly mm. <laughs> your life your body your mental capacity is just the best gift mm-hmm. so sometimes as a youth person you might not want to get into necessarily business but invest in yourself invest in the talent you have invest in training which you need so if you are in music like the band members here mm-hmm. you might want to use the little savings to polish your craft through a training mm-hmm. through a certification um if 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 you are talented uh, in 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 painting or in art uh, the arts world mm-hmm. you can get a trainer uh if you think there's a unique course you can do uh, it's better it's actually within the first five years of a young person's life mm-hmm. the best investment is actually sharpening a, a skill they have a hobby they have a talent they have and then um that now becomes like the what what is the basis for them going up because any young person who is seeking to be economically engaged unfortunately they'll be asked two things one what's your skill set or what's your education and then they'll be asked what's your experience so because experience comes with time the best a young person should have mm-hmm. is is a, a skill and it's very sweet if that skill has been acquired through personal savings because exactly. you'd be yeah, very you proud about it, it. you own you, it you really own it yes i mean yes. it's I'll, i mm-hmm. i really admire young people and they used to tell me mm-hmm. i have this skill and i paid for myself to acquire it wow yeah yeah, yeah awesome yeah you know you, you just you just said that and reminded me about the in psychology there is the 10000 hour rule that means if 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 you want to be really good at a certain field you've got to give yourself 10000 hours of constant practice of 8 hours a day for 10 years so people who have excelled in particular fields uh, so many studies show that they gave like 8 hours or 5 hours times uh, at least uh, in in every day of practice in that specific field for 10 years you know That's and tough. and it's it's rough right that, and, uh, and i was and i was imagining that so many of our, of our young people are, are not willing to put in the, the in the work some the time hours, uh, yeah. so after six months if i put some my investment or i work at something for six uh, months and it's not giving me any return any revenue mm. i'm like i'm done you know exactly i mean um, our youth have been born in the era of of instant coffee um instant gratification mm-hmm. their patience levels are low but let's let's also remember their understanding and creativity is higher is higher yes yes absolutely so the reason why they are impatient mm-hmm. is because they also extremely creative and they want instant results the only thing is to have a balance of the two mm-hmm. whatever you choose as a money making venture or a skill to lead you to an income should actually be you should accept and and uh, comprehend the the work required mm-hmm. or the time required to do that and uh, when you invest or get into a venture if you want to be a good um uh, flute player uh, or a dramatist or or you want to be um um a chef 
there is some minimum time and training required and uh unfortunately uh in any skill you get a better, you get better than time in fact i normally tell young people uh, and youth don't give up do you know why older people sometimes your parents your teachers your mentors sound a bit cleverer or or knowledgeable mm -hmm. it's not because of anything else just because they've served time so we give yourself some exactly some time. don't awesome. don't don't think they are they are mm -hmm. they are more better than you mm -hmm. um if you work in a company and you the boss is a bit older and he sounds very knowledgeable you actually you'll be knowledgeable within half the time he served the, uh, he, uh, that's quite true that's yeah. something also i had with jack ma yeah. that billionaire from uh, yeah uh, from, from china, china. Yes, yeah 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 uh, the first uh, the first years after working the first five years after working after finishing university yeah get employed and work for someone who is smarter than you exactly so that you can gain the skills that uh, exactly. at least have the time and i've seen right. that mm -hmm. I've, I've seen that mm -hmm. actually someone who has done something for 10 years mm -hmm. a young person mm -hmm. can duplicate that between one and three years mm -hmm. so don't be discouraged by mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. talking about like myself i've been doing this for 18 years for 18 years so definitely I expect the youth uh, who want to pursue my line of career to do it within nine years at, at most no even five years five years yes. at least okay. yes yeah all right so we're gonna take a break right now thank you so much mr anthony Medega, for sharing with us these experiences and uh, thank you so much for sharing with us the common bad habits and strategies for, 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 for making money. So we're going to take again a short break right now. I'm going to give it back to uh, Africa, Kenya. And uh, we'll come back. So if you have uh, questions, suggestions, and opinions, please go to our social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll be back in a minute. Mazuri nitakacho anipati nilikuwa nilikuwa na rafiki ya rafiki pesa rafiki pesa eh hey, tulipendana sana maisha yetu yalikuwa yalikuwa mazuri nitakacho anipati nikitaka nikitaka gari nzuri gari nzuri Nikitaka, kia tumzuri, alikuwa, alikuwa, hey, anileti. Nikitaka, nikitaka, jaket tumzuri, hey, anakimbi adukani, anileti. Nikitaka, smartphone, alikuwa, alikuwa, anileti. Nikitaka. Money, brother, Pesa in a musho, Zina musho, Pesa in a musho. Mind your money, sister, Pesa in a musho, Zina musho, Pesa in a musho. Eh, eh, mind your money, dada, Pesa in a musho, Zina musho, Pesa in a musho. Mind your money, brother. Mind your money all of us. That is the uh, at Africa band doing an amazing performance uh, right there, Pesa Zina Muisho. So that's the, these are those of us who are born those days. We know these songs. Like in the I hope you know. So these songs they're very beautiful. Now, last we were talking about minding your monies, and I've been I told you that from last time I'll be sharing with you some of the rules I'm, I've been reading in a book called Twelve Rules for Life. It's written by one of my role models, a clinical psychologist called Jordan Peterson. You can check him up on uh, on YouTube. 
Uh, and the first law that we, rule that we, we spoke about last time was don't be pathetic. That life is rough itself, so you better stand up with your shoulders held back and fight back. All right. So today we want to talk, talk about treating yourself kindly. So Jordan Peterson is saying that, you know, the golden rule, treat others as you'd like them to treat uh, you know, as they, uh, you'd like them to treat you. He says, also treat yourself the way you'd like others to treat you. So one of the things that you, you need to do is you need to treat yourself well. If you're going to, we are talking about m making money today. You cannot make money when you are sick. So treat yourself well. Eat well as much as you can afford. Healthy. Sleep enough. You know, when you're told to sleep seven and a half hours, you're doing yourself a great service because one of the things that uh, improves when you sleep is your capacity for memory. So... If you want to remember things, one of the best things that you can do is learn to sleep at least seven and a half hours because that is good for your body. So at, do some exercise and uh, if you go through something rough, uh, I am a counseling psychologist and I, I get to sit down and listen to people. And one of the things that I find is people who are not willing to confront or at least go through the emotional pain of maybe uh, losing a, a parent or a brother or a sister or a family member or a friend, you know, uh, unable to go through the emotions of losing a job or looking for a job and they cannot find it. And they do not want to face themselves and, 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 and feel sympathy. So they're like, no, Dominic, I don't want to be the victim. Well, I went through sexual abuse, but I don't want to be a victim of that. Well, you went through sexual abuse. That's huge. That is big. Treat yourself kindly. Acknowledge that you went through something and it is going to be bothering you. It's going to uh, disturb you. And allowing yourself to feel pity on yourself, sympathy on yourself, is not the same thing as playing the victim. All right. So you need to allow the emotion to go through you to for you to be able to uh, move forward. So uh, treat yourself kindly by dislodging yourself from relationships that do not work. This is especially true for, for, for ladies here because you tend to keep on believing in the relationships that you know very well are not working and these relationships drain you mentally, physically, psychologically, emotionally, but you stick in it. So that in that way, you're not loving yourself and you are not capable of loving others. So this is the second rule by Jordan Peterson, the importance of treating yourself kindly because only when you treat yourself kindly, you're going to be able to engage with the world as, as your own best friend. He says, you are your own best friend. So defend yourself. Stand up for yourself. That's one of the best way forward. Okay, I'm being told, oh, I, I had not noticed that you, the camera changed. And so there's the second rule today, treating yourself kindly with the last one, the, uh, don't be pathetic. And that is that is all from me today. I also now want to thank Mr. Anthony Medegar once again, uh, the Chief Investment Officer from uh, Commercial Bank of Africa. I'm going to give it back to Africa. And again, I want to thank all of you who have been watching the, the Power Talk show today and have, 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 have listened and I hope you have learned something from minding your money. I want also to thank, we've got a few audience members here. We're going to get back with the audience next week. And if you want to be part of this audience, you can always bump in and uh, uh, into the show sometime. So thank you. God bless you. Have a great evening and be mad. Be exceptional. Make a difference. And now let's get some entertainment from at Africa Kenya Band. Salario, oh, Salario, oh, a hey, Salario, oh, Salario, oh, a hey, Salario. Hajapewa kitu cha kufanya Mungu ni mwaminifu Mungu ni mwaminifu hey, Wengine wana uzangu wa gikosh Wengine wana shona Wengine wamekona wana kimbia Mabansa wame shona Wengine maodijo Polisi Ma CEO Ma MD Ma HUSC Na ikiwa ntakuwa rubani Ni ende shimbege, ni we rubani Rubani ya na imana ikiwa takuwa karani Karani wabengi, ni we karani Karani ya na imana ikiwa takuwa waziri Waziri wa serikali, ni we waziri 
we go now. One more time, one more time. This set go. Oh, I at the shaku 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 turn the shaku go. One more time. Hey, shaku shaku go go. Kenya, ina tuzungusha, ina tufanya kawajinga, 